Nobody has ever seen my face and lived long enough to talk about it. I don't care. I want to look into the eyes of the man that saved my life. Alright, here it goes. Oh. Oh my. What? What's the matter? Is it not what you were expecting? Alright, in the timeline I have my footage with the actor, a shot of just the background, and the green screen clips. I'll select my footage with the actor in it and choose Animation, Track in Boris FX Mocha. In Mocha, I'll select the spline tool and mask the area around the neck, and we'll track this area forward. Once the track is complete, we'll click the arrow down symbol to save our track data and close out of Mocha. We'll duplicate this layer by hitting Ctrl or Command D and disable the lower layer for now. In the Mocha effects panel, we'll hit the matte drop down and choose Create AE Mask. This creates our mask for the area we tracked in Mocha. Now we'll turn our layer beneath back on. We'll disable our top layer for now and draw a mask from the upper shoulders all the way around the head. We'll hit M to bring up our mask options and change our mask from add to subtract. Now we can go ahead and turn on our top layer once again. Now that we have perfectly removed the original head, it's time to make the mini head. With my green screen footage selected, I'm gonna draw a mask around the actor's head. And to stay organized, I'm just going to change the layer color to green. I'm going to right click in the effects control panel and select Red Giant VFX and we'll add Primac here 6. This is just the tool that I'm using for this video to key out the green screen. If you don't have the Red Giant visual effects suite, you can always use the default key light effect that's built into After Effects. Hitting the blue auto define key button will automatically remove the green from our footage. We can now align our character's head with his body in the scene. I'm now going to add a mesh warp effect to the head layer to stretch the neck a little bit. Now to track our head to our body, I'm going to select the mask layer and in the mocha settings, I'll hit the tracking data drop down button and hit create track data. I'll check the box for layer 1 and hit OK. We'll now right click in the timeline and create a new null object. We'll select our mask layer once again and in the mocha settings change the export from corner pin to transform and change the export layer to the null layer and hit apply export. Now we'll drag the pick whip from the head layer to the null layer and our head is now successfully tracked to the body. And that's about it. Thanks for checking out this video guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Put it back on. Okay, it's confusing because first you want me to take it off and now you want me to put it back on. Yep.